Okay, here is an update on the cinema uh, preview, the cinematic preview uh, feature that I have been working to add to the Godot engine. What it does is it allows you to track the active camera in the scene being edited and as that camera or the active camera changes within the scene, the viewport that is set to the cinematic preview mode will reflect that view of the camera. The advantage of this is that you can now take the animation player and create a cut scene and as you change the current property of your camera throughout the scene the viewport again with the cinematic preview will change as that camera is uh, being selected throughout the time uh, line of the animation. Uh, it's it's going to be a useful tool for helping to build cut scenes within your uh, your your game. So here in the editor, you can see that I have uh, my viewport selected as three, and I've got a camera over here selected. So every one of them has a preview button on it. Uh, I can go through and select my nose just like I normally would. And so what I've done is I've created a animation and this animation simply uh, takes this uh, dragon that I've imported and he flies over the spawns of building, turns around and kind of flies off and, and whatnot. Uh, this scene has three different cameras. There is a camera on the back of the dragon, one on the rooftop, and then another uh, camera uh, with inside the uh, the um, spawns of building. So as you scrub, you'll notice uh, that you can see there's some animation going on, but the camera is still, it's not changing. Um, so it's not really like you would scrub a video of, of sorts. Um, again, go to, say, the back of the dragon and scrub, and you'll see that, you know, now I'm watching that camera from the that perspective through the entire timeline. And I could go through the other cameras, but I but I won't. So what we want to do is we really want to get a better representation of what this is really going to look like. So when you're not in the preview mode, simply go to the viewports menu and go down to cinematic preview. Select that. And then um, now this uh, viewport will watch that actively selected camera within the scene and will uh, display that camera's uh, perspective. So now I can scrub my animation and I get a better uh, representation of what that cutscene is going to look like. And I'll just let it play through. And forgive my animation skills, I have none. Um, but anyways, uh, the other thing that makes this work is that I am essentially setting the current property of the camera within the timeline of the animation. So as I set that, uh, the of course that becomes the newly active camera and then the cinematic preview uh, window uh, reflects that camera. So if you really want the ability to scrub and see what those cameras look like, uh, you do have to currently uh, take your camera and deactivate the previously current camera and select your next current camera. And that is simply because the uh, the way that the properties hold within the uh, timeline. Um, there may be, uh, I, I'm not really good with this uh, animation player yet. I think there may be some properties over here that uh, will uh, uh, correct for that or make this a little easier but uh, that, that again that's probably something that uh, someone who's more knowledgeable about the way that the animation player works uh, could could make this better um, but anyways that's it that's the cinematic preview it doesn't take a lot um, of effort there just 
hey, let's go se select the Cinemac preview and set those cameras. That's it. I, I hope this is a feature that uh, several of you will uh, be able to benefit from. Uh, thank you.